Hi guys, welcome to the first day of Pneumatic Week. So, this week we'll be starting with the most earliest pneumatic cleaners I have in my collection. Um, we'll be going in about five year intervals, so we'll be going from 1979, because that's the oldest one I've got. There's no point making a late 70s excuse me, video when I've only got one 70s machine. It was different if I would have an NV2 or th something like that, because I could make videos of them, but we'll just do it, include it in the early 80s videos. So we'll be going in, of course, intervals, first being the early 80s. So here we have my most earliest cleaners. Um, the newest here is 1984, and the oldest is 1979. So we have two vintage NV250s and one vintage NV200. We also have um, an original early 80s floor tool with the glossy neck and 1980s tubes. I've also got I've got about two set set of these. So you know the 1980s ones when they've got the really really small ring on top with these square inserts. And you know when you have one of these 80s floor tools, because it will say made in West Germany, it will have a glossy neck, it will either be black or red, and it will have twin lint pickers underneath. So let's take a look at the one that is stacked on top first. Let me just move this wand out of the way. So here is the NV200. Just move the NV250s. Kind of out of the way, like so. Here is the NV200. I bought this from another collector called Ryan. Um, he did have a YouTube channel, don't know what's happened to it though. Um, when I got it, it had only been lightly refurbed, I haven't cleaned it much up anymore. Um, it had its original cable, but that was um, the original plug had been chopped off and replaced with um, a cheap one. I'm glad to say now I've got the original style plug on here. This actually came off um, a HVR200 Henry from about 88. Um, it didn't have a cable hook, and now it's got one. Um, it didn't have, well, it, that's about it. it. I bought it as a machine only. Um, it wasn't as shiny as this, it was quite dull when I bought it. Um, it also, um, the motor didn't run right on it, I fixed that, it runs lovely now, and it also has a big crack in the side of it, here, um, I believe it was an X builders back or something like that, uh, show you inside, it is very clean, um, it's a bit of dust in here because I've used it, of course, but it is very, very, very clean, uh, it could do with another clean, but, you know, clean so we have the original filter in here which has a metal filter grid opposed to the later cheaper plastic ones and the earlier style red filter you know um, how to point out one of these early style red filters uh, because they will have white stitching in there and yeah that's how you point out the earlier style red filters in here we have a original disposable trap it filter bag uh, MVM 1-B some has a little tiny bit of dirt in it and then we have the original tub original tub um, very clean it's got the chrome centered casters on this one and a face which has had its eyes outlines cut off because this one didn't have the original face when uh, Ryan got it, so he's he done that to resemble the original face. So there we go. There's that one. Um, I believe I think this one cost me around thirty-five pounds. I remember seeing it on eBay and begging my parents to get it, and I got it, and we went and picked it up. So move that over there. 
now we'll start with the earliest one that we have. Not really going in age order, but there we go. This is um, all original, except the switch and motor, NV250 from 1979. Um, unfortunately, it is missing its original label on the top. And the original plug, which it didn't have on it when I got it. Um, it had a plug on it, but the uh, it, it all disintegrated in my hand, so it got replaced. I still have the original motor for this. Uh, it's in the loft, um, in its burnt out glory. So I might be able to get that fixed, I don't know. Because it's quite an old motor. It's just ping clicks on it. It, however, it does have um, a newer motor in it um, from 1984, I think, that I managed to get from a donor lid. It was like a mix-up lid. It was horrendous. Um, in here we've got the rest of the motor. There's nothing really much to see under there. Pretty clean. It's all been refurbished, this one. And you know, here's the filter. Um, you know how to tell these filters, these original um, cloth filters with the metal rim, um, because they're different, more silkier, thicker material than the later ones. And also, this one resembles its original metal cage, which I've had to tape back together. Uh, this one also has one of the old traffic disposable bags in here, and is alright in there, I mean it's rusty and battered, one of the wheel nuts, both, both of the wheels have been dented in, so you know, and then you've got the um, little thing in there, so the bag's gone, uh, add that one on, and the foot goes in there like that, and then the top goes on, like so, here we go, let's push this one over, here, and here we have the newest one out of the lot, which is the most battered, uh, when I received this one, it was in a horrible, horrible state, um, it didn't run right, it still doesn't run right, it was covered in brick dust, and God knows what else. Excuse me. But it's been cleaned up and it's come up pretty well. It's also got a different base um, on it. It's original 80s, 70s type base with the original non-outlined eyes. But this one, um, I bought off eBay. Um, it was just a base. It was really quite expensive, the base. I think it cost me about 25 quid, including the postage. So there's the base, um, I've still got the original in the loft but that's far gone and the the bag connector's missing. So here's the original hose that it came with, with the original moulded on cuff which you don't see nowadays a lot. This one does say 85 on it but I don't know what that means. Might be a year, but I'm not sure. Um, there we go, the hose is pretty clean, I hand cleaned that. It took me about half an hour or an hour to clean that. Um, it did have a red switch on it when I got it, but I put black one on there. Just thought, why not? It looks better with a black one, more retro. Uh, exhaust ports are quite mucky. Um, it's paints kind of bubbling on the sides here. Uh, however, this one does have the original cable with the original Volex. What's it? Volex. Pencon plug on there, um, still resembling its pins, which kind of look like they're going to come out, but if they come out, they come out, and keeping that on there, um, it's still safe to use. Um, clips on this base, very nice condition. That takes off, see in there, pretty clean, apart from a little bit of paint that's coming off, and of course, here's the filter with the original red style stitching and there's that uh, this one's actually got a HEPA flow in there it did have one of the old traffic bags in there but I used it and it 
didn't really get it kind of paused blocked up so I put it in the more powerful machine and then put this in here because it's got better airflow a little bit dust in there but still brand new and then there's the state of the inside of this tub which is not very good all the paints pretty much well it's not even paint it's powder coat um, has come off um, so that's a shame also these tubes and the floor tool that I showed you earlier on in the video are the original ones from this cleaner so that was nice this one only cost me around I'll say about £10 because my granddad had two bottles of wine um, that the person said they could swap it for and yeah I'm really pleased with that one that was a bargain uh, the other MD250, the early one, was 20 quid. I couldn't really re negotiate with that. Well, I did offer a tenner. And the person said 20 quid. I said, alright then, because I wanted it. So, there's the three old 80s, early 80s machines I've got. I'm not really putting them in age order, am I? But, you know. There we go. Um... Here's the first instalment of the pneumatic wheat videos. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more videos. And of course, bye for now.